Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the PL300 exam preparation series where we are exploring the third learning path, visualize and analyze the data. In this video, we are going to discuss the topic configure navigation for a report, which is part of the section enhance reports for usability and storytelling. So in the previous video where we covered the drill up, drill down and drill through, we saw that a button was created in the report automatically and it was configured to go to the page from where we were controlling the drill through functionality. So we had a summary page and it always went to the summary page. Now we can see that if we have to configure this kind of a navigation for a report for multiple purposes ourselves then how we can do that in the Power BI environment. So now let's go to the Power BI environment and let's see how we can configure the report navigation functionality. So inside the Power BI desktop environment, there are three areas where we can configure the report navigation and these are inside the elements area. So we can configure the report navigation on buttons shapes and any image that is imported as part of the report. So let's go and see one example from a button and then we are going to see one example from a shape as well. So here I am inside the shapes option. So there are multiple shapes which are available. So let me just click on one of the arrows here. So I have this kind of an arrow which is now part of my canvas. So as part of the formatting so if i click on this particular object which is a shape then there are certain options which are also associated with this shape so these are the formatting options that are associated with this particular shape so if i go here then i have certain properties which are associated and we have already seen some of these and then there is something which is related to the to the shape itself so i can change the size of the shape the if i want to give a title style and, and rotation etc there is a option which is at the very end which is called as the action so if i just come to this option and turn this on and just expand this option then here you are going to see that there uh, there are further options which are available so let me just select the type of action that we want so here you if you come there are multiple options, multiple action options which can be associated with this particular button. So the option with, in which we are interested is the, is the page navigation. So let me just click on the page navigation option here. And once I select this, then there is another option that is enabled. This is the destination. So this is the option that allows me to select a page where I want to go. So let me just select the page 33, which is the pre which page number 31, which is one of the pages. So I have selected page 31 here. So now if you come and hover your mouse here, so you are going to see that there is this enabling of the mouse. So there is this, and this mouse actually changes a shape which, which we actually find on a website whenever we uh, hover on a URL or any clickable thing. So if I now by using my mouse and the control key, if I just press the mouse, then you are going to see that this actually takes me to the page number 31. So now I am on page 31. So in this way, you can configure page navigation on a shape. Now we are going to see an example where we can do the same thing, but we are going to see it for a button. So now I'm going to share a more uh, realistic case where the page navigation is important. So how, where the page navigation is actually taking place. So previously we saw that we put an arrow and then we saw that how we can configure the page navigation. But in real world applications, you have different pages of your Power BI report and you have different layouts that you have designed as per your requirement. So what you want to do is that you want to give a navigation experience to the user, which is very much similar to an experience that we, that we have on our websites. So it could be either icon driven, it could be either text driven, it could be menu driven. So there are so many ways you can, you can do that. So let me just import one of 
uh, the images that we have already seen in an earlier video and I am going to show you that how I can configure the report navigation using one of the buttons options on that particular image which is part of the background. So here you can see that I have I have imported an image. We have already seen this in one of the earlier videos where we were talking about the canvas settings. So here this image is on the on is on the canvas. And what I want to do is that I want to configure an action on this particular area. So remember this is an image and I want that if I want if my want want my user to come to this area and press the mouse here on this call details 2018 then the report navigation should take it to a page where this calls detail 2018 are present so let's see how we can do that so now i'm going to go in the buttons option here so you see there are multiple buttons available in this area but i am going to go and look at a option which says blank button so i'm going to go and select this blank button and on the top left corner, you're going to see that a button has been created, which I am pulling into the can and onto the canvas. And I am just overlaying it on the on the call 2018 area. So I have put this button. I am, I am just trying to put it on an area which represents the call 2018 button, uh, the call 2018 button on the image. So now if you see that if I select this particular black button, I see certain properties which are related to this button. So again, I'm going to come into the action area here and I will go and I am going to select the page navigation and then I am going to give the same page number, which was page 31 and now if i just come here again you are going to see that this is actually having is showing me that now the control has been or the action has been enabled so i am going to just go and hover my mouse on this area and then i am going to select control and click and here i am back on the page 31 area so this way you are able to actually use the page navigation option using the buttons and you can create your own navigation experience whether you want to use a button whether you want to use a shape whether you want to use an image for all the objects you can actually go and configure the page navigation the last option that i want to show before i actually uh, conclude this video is a built-in page navigator inside the power inside the power bi environment so if you go and click on the buttons on the bottom you're going to see there's a navigator where it has the option page navigator so let me just click on this page navigator and you are going to see some kind of a slicer that appears on the top of your screen so i can actually move this around so here you see that there are certain buttons because we have so many pages in our report so it is kind of a slicer based experience navigator experience where you have a built-in page navigator so if i just go and click on let's say page 31 by using my mouse and control key so it is going to take me to the page 31 like we have seen so so these are some of the options through which you can configure the page navigation and uh, you you if th this is a very important aspect in terms of creating a report because obviously most reports that you are going to make would have multiple pages. So it is important to have some proper page navigator built into the report design. So that's all for this particular video and I'll catch you up in the next one.